Hello, hello everybody. It's Sandy Silva of This Chick's Chalkin. And we are going to do, sorry, I'm just adding, I forgot to add my little ring light. There we go. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see really well. Uh, we are doing the Grill Master, which would have been perfect before Father's Day, but I actually didn't have it. Um, so we're going to enjoy it now in honor of National Hot Dog Day. So I'm going to open that up and we are doing it on our Odette. This is 12 by 18, the 12 by 18 Odette. These just look old fashioned -y to me and they're so cute. Remember we used the longer, the six by 18, um, for the soda fountain sign. be cute with our hot coffee one too. Okay. So as you can see, it's a bunch of little different things. So you could use it on, you could do like an apron or, you know, any number of things. Hi season. How are you? It's good to see you on here. So let's grab, I'm going to grab some scissors real quick and we're just going to have some fun and play with these little guys. So it's cute to do the number one best dad. You could do it on a t-shirt. So if you're going to do it on fabric, you need um, chalk, chalk ink. But today for the board, we'll be using chalk paste. I love all the little flames too. These could be used on a ton of different things. So could the little barbecue. That's something I really like about having the, the transfers like this that have a bunch of different little sayings and words and designs is that you can use them for so many different little things. So I'm just cutting down the lines. The transfers come marked to show you where you can cut. If it's a larger transfer where it's just um, one design on the transfer, then obviously you don't have to worry about cutting anything. Okay, I'm going to cut the tools apart. Of course, we need the hot dog. I didn't think about that. It's National Hot Dog Day and we're not having hot dogs for dinner. How did I do that? Rubbing meatloaf. That just seems so wrong. Of course, I missed, missed National Ice Cream Day on Sunday, so I shouldn't be surprised that I didn't think about having hot dogs for dinner tonight. Okay, I'm not sure... I'm not going to be doing number one best dad. Um, okay, maybe grilling and chilling and on the menu and some of these fun things. So I'm going to set those aside. And we're just going to lay out a fun design. Okay. So we know we're going to have the barbecue. We definitely want some flames. Oh, the flames could be a double design, which is cool. That means you can do like this yellow and this orange or vice versa. So that looks neat. We definitely want our tools. Let's see. What if I want to do on the menu? Maybe grilling and chilling instead of grill master. Do grilling and chilling with our tools and our hot dog. Oops, grilling and chilling. That'll fit great. Grilling and chilling. 
And then we can do barbecue. And do these this way. So they're crossing over each other or next to each other. And then maybe do, oh, we could do on the menu if it's not too much. I don't want to overload it. Mm, yeah, I think that would be too much on the menu with the hot dog. Might be a little too much. So let's grab, um, let's start with our barbecue and our black. Because to me, this looks like a Weber barbecue and Weber's are black. So I am just going to peel off the transfer. And I want to fuzz it on my fuzzing cloth just to get a teensy tiny bit of that stickiness off. Because, you know, it's great that they're so sticky because they can last so many times. They're, you know, reusable, um, according to Chocotour, up to 12 times. I've had them last longer, I've had them last less time. It depends on how good of care you take of them. Um, but they are so, so sticky in the beginning that it's, that you wanna make sure it's not so sticky you can't get it off. And I've gone around it to make sure we don't have wrinkles or bubbles. Feels like there's something right there, but I think we're okay. So the part where you can see the white board coming through, that's going to be where, um, where our black will show up on the board. And I didn't need to um, mix my paste. I used it yesterday and it's still in great shape. So I just dipped in and just going to thoroughly cover it to make sure I didn't, don't miss anything. I'm just going to slowly pull it off just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Now these designs where you can see the gaps in it, that's built into the, to the transfer to make it look like, I just give it a little more dimension and texture. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like we're going to be using red and orange and yellow. I don't know if I want any more black. Let's put the lid back on it and set that aside for now. So while this is drying, so I can, once it's dry, I can put the flames in here. While that's drying, I'm thinking red. Thinking red for grilling and chilling. Now remember, on our boards, any non-porous surface, whether it's glass, metal, chalkboards, whatever, uh, you can wash it off. If you put something on, use some color, and you think, ooh, that didn't look good, or put, like I put the hot dog on, and I think, ooh, it would have looked better over here, I can just wash it right off. Okay, so we're going to do some grilling. And actually I'm going to take, I'm going to do this first because I'm going to put and pretty close in here so I can make sure chillin' fits on there. Sorry for the squeaky chair, everyone. I know I say that a lot. I need to have my husband fix it. He said it needs to be tightened. I don't know how you tighten a wood chair. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going to ask him to do it. I just can't just can't let go of this chair. It's just too cute. Okay, so I'm getting a nice coat on here. 
the red tends to be a little on the thinner side than some of our others, so um, I usually don't have to stir it. Love it, I'm glad I did the red. And again, it it's, has those wear marks built into the transfer to kind of give it that, I don't know, outdoorsy look maybe? I think you guys know what I mean though. Brewing and chilling. So I think I'll do and here. Oops, I got red on there. Okay. And I can trim these, even though they give you guidelines. If you need to trim them down a little bit more, your transfers, you absolutely can. You do you do what you need to do. I think I'm okay. Maybe, maybe black for the end. Should put that over a little bit further, but I'm okay with that there. We'll get chilling on. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think they would have looked better a little bit closer together. But we'll, we'll see when I get done. So again, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any bumps or wrinkles in it. So VIP members, remember you guys have until about noon on Saturday to sign up for my next workshop. I've already had one person sign up, so I'm actually down to five spots. And on Saturday, I'm actually gonna, I'm letting VIPs have first access to it. Um, and then I'm gonna um, post it on the business page. So, and there are a lot more people on there. I suspect it'll fill quickly there. So if you're interested and you know, this is a, one, it's a fun time, and it's inexpensive, and you get a little piece of home decor, and two, um, it's a great way to give us a try. You know, if you've been thinking about it, and you're, but you're not really sure where to start, I mean, it runs about $20, plus tax and shipping, and plus, if you're stuck at home bored like many of us are these days just something fun to do there no maybe over a little more and up or down oh so tomorrow when i'm on here um i will be set up so that you can see me when i'm chalking and see I'm going to do the handle red and do the rest of it in gray, maybe? Um, so that you guys can see me and see what I'm chalking at the same time. Then I'll more easily be able to see if you guys have comments. I've been trying to set that up for months. I know I've mentioned that to you guys before. Um, I think my little laptop just couldn't do the job. And so I bought an iPad today. I had an iPad mini, but it's years and years old, so it wouldn't do the trick. Um, so I bought an iPad. Problem solved. Okay. I think gray made more sense. Yeah, I like that. Maybe, maybe 
a hot dog on the end of that. That would be so cute. Yeah, we're gonna do a hot dog on the end of that. I am loving this even more than I anticipated. I knew it was cute. I was wishing I had gotten it before um, before Father's Day because it would have been so cute for my husband and my dad, but here it is now. I'll have it for next year. Um, okay, so this, yeah, is pointing dry. So I am going to do the flames and I am going to do the layers. So this can be intimidating for people when they first uh, look at it and think about, oh my gosh, I have to do one layer and a color and then put another one over it and do another layer. It's so simple to line up. I'm telling you guys, if I can do this, anybody can do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it, you know, pretty far back in the grill. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, so what would they be? Maybe orange and then yellow? Red, orange, yellow, something like that. We'll go with yellow and orange. I think the orange is usually closer on the inside, I think. I can't see the flames when when I barbecue. I actually barbecue a lot. What do you guys think? It's so yummy having the charcoal barbecues. Just I love the flavor. My son and I talk about that a lot. When we go camping, we have our little Weber, and it's just so yummy. It's absolutely delicious, the food is, when it's all cooked on a Weber. But then... It, you know, it just takes forever to warm it up. So we have the gas grill here. It just doesn't have the same flavor, but it sure is, you know, nice control when you're cooking. And Okay, so by the way, I don't have to worry that I went over, you know, outside the lines because this area, anything that's this color is not going to put color on the board. It's going to stop the color from going through. So there are my first flames. Now I'm thinking I did it backwards. I'm thinking it should have been orange on the inside, but I don't think anyone's going to look at it and think, ugh, that just looks terrible. Okay, so this, yep, that's dry. So I'm going to put a hot dog on there. So I'm, again, just trying to go around it, make sure that no bubbles or wrinkles in there. And Susan, I can't see the comments or anyone else who might be on here. I can't see it right now. Um, but please do, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to write it right in there in the comments. And I will answer as soon as I am done here. Cute. Now, for me doing this over an open barbecue, I'd have a lot of black on there from where it was burned. <laughs> oh, you know what else would be adorable? And this would look great with it, too. Um, our Love You S'more transfer. Because we have the marshmallows. We could use this on that transfer for the marshmallow. You know, because you can move it around, do whatever you want with it. And we could put marshmallows with the grilling and chilling. That would be cute. I gotta remember that. I love options. Okay, so now let's see on the menu. So I can, should I do on the menu above that and then do? No, I'm still not thinking that would look very good. Whoops, nope, still not dry. All right, so I am going to do, where'd it go, where'd it go? The spatula. That's weird. Where could that have gone? Maybe it's underneath here? 
Sorry, everybody. Give me just a sec. I just had it, and I haven't used it. No, 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 no. Ah, there it is. Okay, I think I'm going to do the crisscross on this side. In case you're wondering why I'm not fuzzing these, they're not feeling very, as sticky. So I'm thinking that um, I'm thinking that I mean, they seem to be just fine with me just pulling them right off. Okay, now I want to do this more one again. I keep thinking about that. Um, hmm, maybe a little more this way. could break out my little individual fonts and put, you know, on the menu hot dogs. That would be cute too. But I'm not going to take that pen of time tonight because I don't want to keep you guys that long. I love those fonts that look, that we have that look like, um, the Ray Dunn with a real narrow and close to each other. I've had so much fun with those. Okay, and let me wipe this off. I'm running low on mini squeegees. Um, and I'm running low on wipes. I needed to pre-record a bunch of videos for a crafting membership site that I got invited to participate as one of the, you know, one of the people who shows how to do things um, and give tutorials and stuff, but they need a bunch of them done. So I did costume changes and the whole thing. I'm pretty excited about that. Fun and unique experience. So I got a bunch of my transfers cleaned up last night right afterwards, but then some of my tools are still, still have chalk paste on them. So we're going to do that. Oh, I love the colors. I don't know why, but it's just really, those colors are just really doing something. Okay, so now, while that's drying, I'm going to do the outside of the flames. pop up over the over the barbecue that's okay though all right grab my orange peel adorable. I bet you could do a third layer using that and get the red in there too. You know, maybe put it down a little bit lower. It really does kind of give it more dimension because it looks like the flames are even further back. Yeah, cool. Um, alrighty. Whoops. I don't need this one anymore. Okay, I need to be a good girl. Make sure I'm putting my 
lids back on quickly so that they don't get dried out. And I need my, okay, don't need the orange anymore. Just need the gray and the red. Um, okay. Now, normally I try to clean these in between. Yeah, part of it does need to be done, I can tell. Um, if there's no paste dried on it, then it's no big deal, but I can tell there was a little bit of paste dried on it. Sorry, I need to get a new thing of wipes. real quick. So you can tell by the sound of it probably that it's, it's like a silk screen kind of material. Makes it really easy to work with. here to dry it. So while I'm drying this, I'll explain that when we're done, when I'm done, I take these out, I take the transfers out to the sink and wash them off. Just run them under cold water. Um, if the paste has been sitting on there for half an hour, an hour, it's on there thick, Soak them for just a few minutes. If you're good about it, I had to stop doing this because I wasn't good about it and I was ruining my transfers. If you're good about it, you can keep a little bowl of water nearby, and I still do, to put my squeegees and stuff in when I'm done. But transfers can't stand there for very long. Just gonna check and see if this is dry. Um, so you can, if you're gonna, if you're good about remembering to do it right away, which I'm not, uh, you can just drop them in the water, and as soon as you're done chalking, take them right out and, and clean them up. But I would, as soon as we were done, I'd run out to start, you know, dinner or do, you know, dishes, whatever, and completely forget. And come in the next morning, and there were a bunch of transfers soaking, and stickiness had worn off. So I had to make myself stop doing that. I smudged it as I was pulling it off. But that's the nice thing. So I can just wipe it right off and do it again. Or actually it's just one little spot. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry so that I don't smudge more. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and just do right in here. And I can use my wet wipe, but I like to, since it's such a small spot, I'm probably gonna use a wet Q-tip. So, um, we can leave it like this, but which is totally cute. I really like it. But since we're playing, and I know I'm overdoing it, but that's okay. We're playing. And I'm not keeping this, by the way. I'll end up washing it off. Um, let's see. Menu. Do on the and then menu. Let's try that. That one feels stickier. I'm gonna plot that on my little fuzzing cloth. And now I have, I if you guys hear this, watch me regularly, you know, but um, for anyone who's watching who hasn't seen this before, um, I have a, we have fuzzing cloths through Chalk Couture. 
and it's a like a, that microfiber soft blankety material on one side and it's terry cloth on the other so it's great for um, drying your stuff and and fuzzing and I use it for all kinds of stuff um, I don't know if I should off I think I'm gonna actually offset it a little bit I'm not sure that would look right I prefer it to be centered but since I'm gonna put on the in there let's try this um, but you can use at home you could just use a towel you know whatever you have I've used yoga pants to do it so many to fuzz my transfers so many times that I don't that my yoga pants have no lint at all nothing <laughs> nothing to give anymore Oh, I didn't angle it quite right. So it's down a little bit more on this side. I thought I had it straight enough. I mean, it's meant to be a little bit of an arch, but I, I went a little too far that way with it. Okay. Where did I just put those words? It doesn't seem to matter how much room I have, it's not enough. I'm telling you, it's like a purse. It doesn't matter how big you go, you will fill it. It could be a tiny purse, you'll fill it. It could be an enormous purse, you'll fill it. At least with me. Oh, I just had it in my hands. Where did I put it? I drop it. Okay, let me take some things off of here real quick. It's probably right in front of my face. It's in my hand now. Great. Okay. That's still pretty wet. I'm going to grab my dryer real quick. So if you're wondering why I dry it and then I blow on it, it's because I'm actually trying to, I dry it and it get, and it's hot. So I blow on it to cool it off because when it's hot, I can still smudge it a little bit. So just trying to make sure that we're good. Mm, no, too much that way. Okay, just a little more. There we go. Try to decide between black and red. Let's try black. Have like a little outdoor kitcheny type of area where you barbecue or just an area that's you know that would have like a, a, maybe your one of the outside walls of your home be a cute place to hang this on the menu oh, I think that turned out okay if I decided to do this first I would have moved this down that's fine. Fantastic. Well, I like it. I hope you guys like it. Again, don't forget, I could put on the grill too. Huh. Don't forget that if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on them or 
If you prefer, you can message me either way. And please do ask questions. Don't feel like, you know, I've had some people say, this is probably a silly question. No, there's no such thing. If you don't know it and you haven't done it before, for sure. And even if you've done it a million times and you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Or if you have a question, it doesn't matter. So feel free to contact me anytime. Okay. So uh, tomorrow night, Oh shoot, I can't remember off the top of my head what I said I was going to do tomorrow night. I apologize, I've forgotten. Uh, I had something lined up. Anyway, I apologize, but I will, it'll, I'll post something in the morning to let you guys know what it is. Yikes. It's something summer themed, but I can't remember. Anyhow, um, tomorrow you will see me live. I will be on here. You'll be able to see me and see what I'm doing at the same time. So hopefully it'll feel more like I'm actually talking to you instead of talking at you. Okay, until tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. You guys have a great night. Enjoy your Thursday. And hopefully I'll be able to see you back here tomorrow night. Okay. Goodbye.